Hello, this is Ignatius 500, and I'm Jake Braithwaite. You might know many Jesuits, or only a few, or maybe you've only heard of us in passing, but you'll quickly discover how different each Jesuit is. There are old Jesuits and young Jesuits. Sometimes we hold opposite viewpoints. Some are passionate about football, and others don't know anything about sports. Some of us can play instruments, and others can't even sing. And yet, despite these differences, we stick together. And the reason for that is simple. We are united by Jesus. He's the bond that unifies us, despite our differences. Ignatius of Loyola was also known for becoming good friends with a great variety of people. Kings and nobles, men and women, cardinals and religious, and above all, with his companions. Whether through face-to-face -face conversation or through his thousands of letters, he related to people from all over the world. He was sociable from a young age and learned the meanings of loyalty and understanding and the love that all good friends need to grow. So much so that he considered his relationship with Christ equivalent to a friendship. After his convalescence in Loyola, he realized that it didn't make sense to pursue his grand project alone. In Alcala, in Salamanca, he tried to form a group of good friends and colleagues. However, it was not until his time in Paris that this idea gained more momentum. In all the cities he passed through, he made great, long-lasting friendships that eventually helped him in his mission. For the first Jesuits, being friends in the Lord was woven into their DNA right from the start. It was a story of friendship that could transcend the age differences between St. Ignatius and the others in the group, but also a friendship with Jesus that ended old family disputes between the Loyola family and the Xavier family, and even united people from apparently irreconcilable regions. It was clear for these early Jesuits that if they put Jesus in the center, nothing else mattered. Real miracles would occur. It's said that St. Francis Xavier wore the signatures of the first companions around his neck. To speak about the Jesuits is to speak of stories of friendship of interwoven lives, and of common dreams. Not just pipe dreams, but dreams that can change the world. From the beginning, they understood that they couldn't always live their lives together in the same place. Like St. Ignatius, they needed the freedom to travel wherever they were most needed. Thanks to the courage and commitment of many Jesuit companions, today we exist on every continent and despite having different cultures, histories, and ages, we can still all understand each other. Being friends in the Lord implies a common way of seeing the world. Although sometimes it can be difficult to fully explain how all this happens, all Jesuits have a similar way of being trying to get as close as possible to the way laid out by Jesus. Little by little, more and more, friendship in the Lord means becoming part of the same family where we can share our lives, all that we have, all that we are, and all that we do. Putting Christ in the center makes us partakers of his mission in the world. It's not about working in a school or a university or at an NGO. Rather, it's a matter of recognizing that we collaborate side by side in building the kingdom of God. It's not an individual work, although each one has a role. It's teamwork at the service of the one who unites us all, Jesus of Nazareth, the Son of God, the Messiah. 
And this is easier than it seems, because although there are dark days when we feel nothing makes sense, our task as companions is to make our world a place where there is justice and peace, where Christ is proclaimed, and where people can live in joy and hope. Imagine starting a project with your friends, where everyone put their best skills toward a greater mission. The Society of Jesus is quite the same. Ignatius knew that he would always be with others, never alone. It was difficult for him to find a group where together they could build toward a common dream, to follow Christ and fulfill God's will. But he ended up doing just that. I joined the same group 500 years later with the same intention. What about you? Have you considered whether the Society of Jesus is what you and your friends are looking for? 